The activity of virtual humans, which appeared mainly in the advertising market, is rapidly expanding. Based on advanced technology to a level that is difficult to distinguish from real people, it is predicted that the field of activity will be expanded to the entertainment market such as singers and actors. In the related industry, there is a high expectation that the possibility of a virtual human being free from the issues of celebrity privacy can be further expanded. This is because you can express what the public wants, such as personality and appearance, without being restricted by time and place. Virtual humans that have recently appeared are forming a fandom as they are realistically expressed from the texture of their skin to even one fluff. As the scope and possibilities of virtual human activity increase, the participation of game companies is also active. This is because it is easy to enter the market based on design capabilities such as game characters. Crafton worked hard to realize a realistic appearance while developing a virtual human. He expressed not only the eyes, but also the hair, wrinkles, and skin in a hyper-realistic way. He also implemented Anna's unique voice so that he can speak and sing naturally through deep learning techniques such as speech synthesis. Although he has not revealed a specific activity plan yet, he has foretold his activities as a single entertainer. Starting with the release of original music, he is planning to work as an influencer in various fields, such as entertainment and esports. In the global market, virtual humans are showing more than a top star, and Crafton has a plan and what differentiates the virtual human Anna, who foretold activities, met Shinsukjin, head of Crafton Creative Center, and heard about them. Q. Why did Crafton introduce the virtual human Anna? A. Crafton created the virtual human Anna in the process of building the Web 3.0 ecosystem, developing full-fledged interactive content, and implementing the interactive virtual world. On the premise of continuing the enjoyment and challenge of games, the plan is to provide new value to gamers and creators and utilize new technologies to create differentiated content. Q. What are you planning through Anna? A. Since Anna is currently in the teasing stage, it is difficult to disclose Anna's specific business model at this stage. However, starting with the release of original music in the future, they plan to expand their scope so that they can work as influencers in various fields such as entertainment and esports. In particular, deep learning technologies such as advanced voice synthesis, which were researched and developed by the Crafton AI Center and Deep Learning Lab will be applied with a unique AI voice that can naturally act and sing like a human. By continuously researching and developing related technologies, Anna plans to develop a unique and attractive AI voice that does not exist in the world and give it a voice. Q. There is a clear technological gap between the existing virtual human and the a virtual humans require conceptualization and creativity that include worldviews such as characters, styles, look and feel, and stories, technology that makes virtual humans more realistic, and research and development capabilities to apply new technologies. Crafton is different in that both of these are internalized. Arna is a next-generation virtual human that is being produced based on Crafton's own technology such as hyper-realism, rigging, and deep learning technology. Crafton has researched and developed various technologies, such as hyper-realism, and deep learning in-house and applied it to Anna. In order to create the hyper-realism character pursued by Crafton, an attractive face that is likely to exist in reality was expressed, and furthermore, the skin texture, pores, and fluff of a real person were expressed in detail. In particular, the fine muscle and wrinkle movements that respond when the facial expression of a real person moves can be expressed as it is through rigging. Dozens of blend shape targeting was produced with fax, facial action coding systems, to realistically express expressions such as facial expressions and emotions like real people. Q. Can you guarantee continuous activities? A. Crafton's virtual human, Anna, will not limit her activities to entertainment, but will expand her activities as influencers in various fields, such as esports and virtual world. 
A common concern for virtual humans in the entertainment field is the unpleasant valley in the visual and audio parts. However, Anna can sing naturally like a human using deep learning technologies such as advanced voice synthesis researched and developed by the Crafton AI Center and Deep Learning Lab, and uses Unreal Engine to visually resemble a human. It is characterized by in order for the virtual human to have persistence, it is necessary to minimize the unpleasant valley. Q. What is the difference between the market outlook of the virtual human market and Crafton's? A. I think the time will come when one virtual human will have more than a global top star. For example, the current global virtual human named Lil Mikella has already proven to the market the economic effect, revenue generation, fandom, and potential comparable to that of a single company. However, she thinks it is a blue ocean market that is just getting established and growing. Crafton's virtual human Anna has the biggest difference in that it is made with a visual that is close to the real thing. Unreal Engine-based hyper-realism production technology was applied to create a realistic human-like appearance. It was planned, researched, and searched for, researched, and planned a lot of data, not only on faces, but also on very small and detailed parts such as facial expressions and gestures when acting. In addition, from the planning stage, Anna wanted to make it a virtual human that Generation Z around the world would like. It will draw a lot of interest and interest while communicating with Generation Z through Anna's own worldview and activities in various entertainment areas, which are scheduled to be released in the future.